Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, it's my birthday. It came early this week, girl, we have a foundation review. I'm so excited, mm, mm, mm. and I don't wanna hide it, honey, I'm here. So for today, as you guessed by the title, we are looking at the new Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Let's go ahead and dive right into the review, cause y'all, foundations are life, and I'm here. So we are on currently the Smashbox.com website, and it says here, down in the description, this is a comfortable 24 hour full coverage foundation that weightlessly glides over skin. It controls oil and shine and has a blurring effect. It's also waterproof, sweat and humidity resistant and won't look cakey or cause acne. Thank God your girl don't need no help with that hello cystic acne for the win girl. Under tips it says a little goes a long way. This is key, you girl. I like some foundation. Uh, this formula reveals its true color within 60 seconds and sets quickly. Wait, what? 60 seconds? As in it's gonna oxidize? Uh oh, uh oh. See, I didn't pick my color based on an oxidize. I picked it. Uh-oh. Let's see what I pick. I, oh, <laughs> this is going to be a situation. I grabbed the shade 1.1, which is fair light with a neutral undertone. And I really thought I was getting somewhere with this based on the swatches. Now I'm real nervous. So let's go ahead and just take a swatch. I like the squeezy tube. How much you get in here, girl? One fluid ounce? You better have one fluid ounce. Yes one fluid ounce. Okay, so the color when you first take it out the tube, it's a little dark. It's not awful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna leave that there while we finish reading. Mm-hmm. Just to reiterate, not only is this going to show a true color within 60 seconds, it's also going to set quickly. Oh, Jesus, take the foundation from my hand. No, really, help me. I'm so nervous. Oh, it's gonna turn. Oh, and it has now been over 60 seconds, so how about we go ahead here and take, that is so much darker. This is gonna be, I should've wore a crew neck up to my damn nose, oh my god. Oh yeah, girl. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it is like a solid shade, it's not showing up on camera. But just so you guys know, it is like a solid shade darker, and it was already kinda dark. All right, and then just one last time from everything I am finding on here. Recap, one fluid ounce, it is $36. It comes in a plastic squeeze component like this, which I'm not mad at. Yes, is it expensive and the packaging is kind of cheap? Sure, but a lot of people really, really prefer this kind of packaging. So I think there's a good ebb and flow that we're seeing here. And it is available in 40 shades. All right, so let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and dive in. Guys, I just went to wipe this with my finger. It's literally like cemented on my hand. <gasps> mm, the intrigue builds. So diving into the actual makeup application, I have already went ahead, primed and prepped the skin. This side we did Tatcha Silk Canvas, per usual, my control variable. And if you are new here, I always like to split the face and I do two different primers. That way we can check and make sure, is it a consistency issue? What kind of a base does it prefer? That sort of thing. So Tatcha Silk Canvas over here. And then on the other side, I went in with the Farsali Skin Tune Blur. Um, now, normally I wouldn't go in with something like this on a foundation review, but I thought this would actually be a really good test for today because this foundation leans so, so matte. Um, I really want to test and see, you know, is it going to suck that type of moisture? I go in with a primer like this, it might help, you know, kind of go into the normal to dry side, how it would sit with your guys' skin, maybe the type of primer you would use, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now I do have my brush ready. This is the JSC, or no, I'm sorry, the Morphe JS1. This is the foundation brush they did with Jeffree Star. This is my favorite foundation brush to date. And then I also have a couple of clean and damp and ready to rock beauty sponges. This is from Dose of Colors. I did a full review on their newest foundation, their Meet Your Hue, which I will link up here. And then this is the e.l.f. Beauty Sponge, just in case I need it for cream products or blending out or just an extra sponge. Sometimes when you're just getting ready, girl, you need an extra sponge. There's no way around it. So let's go ahead and dive in. It did say, oh my God, I keep looking down at this and it's like taunting me like, oh, Paige, you're in for it. I know. Um, but I'm going to take just a little bit here on the back of my hand. I'm going to the back of the hand first. And we're going to start by applying just a little bit. I'm going to just kind of tap my brush in and go this route. This is a thick girl. Whoa, she she thick. Let's go ahead here and start cup. Oh, oh, cup. Did you see that red spot there? Should have taken these off because this is drying in 60 seconds, honey. I ain't got time for you. We're just going to go one earring right now because I want to make sure I get this blended. Oh, my word. <gasps> Wait a second. It's actually doing it. Guys, I don't think they lied. Oh my God, the excitement. Okay, this is why we love foundation reviews. Look at the coverage building on my face. I feel like this is like a derby for foundation. Look at that. That was the tiniest little tap. Oh, 
I'm so excited. Okay, keep going. Paige, do not stop. Also, love this application with a brush. Wow. I almost never say that, but this looks gorgeous with a brush. Wow. 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 I'm entering the Owen Wilson phase of my life. Also, the match isn't horrible yet. It's still workable. I know we haven't hit our 60 seconds. I'm nervous for it. Let's go ahead and kind of just keep applying this here. The coverage on this is really nice. Oh crap, I forgot to use my sponge. Wow, whoa. I've never had a foundation that made me forget to grab my sponge. That That's saying something too. Holy crap. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I went in with a little bit less product on this side and I'm actually going to take and try it like after it sits here for a second. I wanna see if I can build coverage, not that I really need to, but I want to see how layerable this is from a texture perspective. I don't know, like it does build a little bit. I don't know that I would love the texture of it if you're building it up because as it's drying down, it is getting a little bit more tacky because obviously it's in the process of drying very quickly. So that's the only thing I noticed, but I'm not... I'm not mad at it, like, at all. The application of that was insanely cool. Oh, hello. <laughs> Other earring. Paige, you have two sides to your face. Guys, when am I going to learn? Never. All right, guys, so we're just going to keep working on through here. Tarte Shape Tape Porcelain Beige. You don't want to stall for too long because, hello, this foundation is, like, rapidly drying. We're just going to use this Tarte Shape Tape to go through and also brighten up the face a little bit. All right, guys, so here we are. Um, You guys know. Wow, I look fun. Um, Y'all know I do set my face because if I don't, like, we just have situations all day long. Um, Obviously, if you are on the dry side or normal to dry, you would not need to set this. Like, it literally dries down. It does have a slight amount of tack to it, but I honestly think if I left it alone for the next five minutes, I think it would be pretty dry. Um, It does have a tack to it though so if that doesn't go away you might want to set lightly the perimeters with just a finishing powder just to make sure it didn't get patchy when you blended your bronzer on top of it or whatever else you're using um but as far as the setting of this for me i'm a little bit apprehensive because i'm afraid what if it gets like really thick and cakey like, don't get me wrong, I'm obviously going to set it and everything like I normally would, but that's my only concern. Um, I'm going to use my Hourglass Translucent Veil Mineral Powder here and set the face. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set the under eyes with my sponge, per usual here, because that was just concealer, and that has to happen, because y'all, my under eyes are crazy little bitches. Obviously, we have to set the Hulk up here, because, you know, he's needy too, he likes some loving. I'm going to throw it in my smile lines a little. And then what I'm going to do that I wouldn't normally do is I'm just going to lightly, I'm going to grab my JH01 here, and uh, I'm going to lightly go over the entire face, and I mean, like, lightly just tap some powder over top of it. All right, so we got everything good and on the skin. I have to say, for as much as that dried down, and I was so nervous, Nervous when I saw it dry down on my hand. It's actually looking pretty freaking good. Um, you guys know though on this channel I don't even start judging a foundation until after all my makeup is on. So let's go ahead and just like buzz through some other products real quick here. And alright you guys I am back. The full face is on. On the lips I went in with this little combo here. This is the ColourPop Pencil in... Bichette? B what the hell does that say? It, uh, it does say Bichette. Okay, well. <laughs> Bichette it is. That's a great name. Um, And then for the other lip item, the big glossy one here, we have the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish in the shade Date Night. Now diving into this foundation up close, let's go ahead and throw you guys in that uh, sequence real quick here. I have to say, I think it looks pretty good. It is pulling a little bit more matte than I would like. Um, And it's not so much a matte texture on the skin. It's the dry down um, that's kind of emphasizing my pores and my texture on my cheek area right through here. That's the only thing that I'm noticing at this point that I don't love. The pros are it feels like down. It is locked on, which feels really nice. I'm not having any slippy slidey. It's not overly like tight or uncomfortable. It is a little tight up through here, but that'll dissipate as the day goes on, I'm sure. And another thing that I'm really shocked by is that this shade actually looks pretty good with my skin tone, which is just insane to me because before I applied it, you guys saw, I really thought it would be a lot darker based on the swatch it's almost like it adjusted somehow to my skin I don't know it's really weird so all right you guys I'm gonna go ahead I'm just gonna let this whole foundation situation wear settle sink do its thing we'll of course come back on here at the end of the day give you guys a wear test go up close all that good stuff so hang tight and I will be right back and okay you guys it is officially the end of the day this makeup has been on my face for over 10 hours and I have some final thoughts so the first thing I want to mention yes I did have to change my shirt because y'all northern Michigan did not get above like a ball me 65 degrees today oh my god when I read the weather app I read it 
wrong and this morning I was like it's gonna be so hot and it was so perfect it was overcast it was cool it was like the perfect fall day today oh my god you guys I was so excited to get to go put on my new sweatshirt hello be kind get it with the B because y'all gotta represent the bees honey yes anyways you guys let's go ahead and talk about foundation because like that's why you're actually here so 10 plus hour wear test and I have to say overall very very impressed couple of things to note number one the coverage stayed very nice and consistent I didn't notice anything wearing off rubbing funny um, like disintegrating throughout the day as far as coverage is concerned which is fantastic that's like one of the number one things that I look for in a full coverage foundation um, number two they do spec this out as a 24 hour wear and for me as you guys will see in the close-up which I will go ahead and throw up right now for you I do notice that I'm having a fair amount of breakage around like my nose mouth area don't get me wrong not even close to as bad as I've seen in the past now you will also notice in the up close that I do have some smile lines developing and I would say that those actually didn't start until probably hour like six seven which is really really good for me and I think that overall for this being a 10 plus hour wear test I'm actually very very impressed with the foundation the formula again it wore very nicely something else I wanted to note again you I'm sure you noticed it while you were in the close-up but right Right through here on both cheeks it is so insanely smooth still like it didn't settle at all I had literally no issues with my more acne ridden areas and that included like my cystic acne along the jawline no issues everything stayed covered nothing got like weird with foundation I did really like certain things about both of the primers I feel like this foundation because it does dry down and go so matte and more a little bit more texture emphasized if you will I do feel like I need the smoothness of the Tatcha silk canvas but I I also feel like if you are anywhere near like the normal normal dry camp you will definitely need some sort of like a luminous primer or even if you don't want to go with like a radiant dewy primer just something that will give you a little bit of radiance throughout the day like maybe as it wears another thing that I always mention if you are new here at the end of every foundation review I always tell you what I would do or how I would use the foundation differently maybe mixing it using it as a mix in that sort of thing and with this one first of all I would wear it by itself again I I do think I would play with the primers a little bit like I said but if I were to mix it with anything I would maybe add in a touch of the pure four-in-one love your selfie and this would be for a couple of reasons number one on me this foundation does look beautiful it has a great coverage it has this really beautiful like light dewy radiance kind of feel to it and I think that for that reason this would be a great mix in because we would maintain the coverage and all of that would be the same it's very similar in that aspect but this has a much more radiant dewy finish to it than the Smashbox. If anything, I would actually say the foundation from today is like the opposite of this one. This one pulls much more radiant or dewy or, you know, whatever, just nice and luminous. And the one from Smashbox really just dries down and gives you that nice matte finish. But it's a very workable matte finish because as you can tell, I mean, I was able to work with it. My skin is not completely matte. So just something to note for me that would be maybe one little difference I would make. And as far as the claims go on this foundation, I did notice that this did a great job at keeping my oils at bay for a while. I actually didn't even notice my nose getting shiny until like hour five, six, seven, like right in there. It was a little bit shiny at I would say like five and a half, six hours. And then by the time I hit seven, I was like, okay, like I'm definitely seeing it. Here we are at 10 hours and... It's moderately shiny, but it's still not that bad. And something else I wanted to mention is actually something my mom pointed out, which is kind of odd, but every time I do a foundation review, I always go out and I'm like, hey mom, you know, what do you think? What do you think? Like, what's your perspective on this? And one thing that I loved about what she said, it was at the end of the day today, she goes, okay, well, let's take a look at your foundation. And you know, she puts on her glasses and she gets all up close. And she said, wow, Paige, this foundation didn't oxidize anymore. Like it, it stopped. It's the same color that it was this morning. That's really cool. And you know, it kind of, took me back to this morning when I was on camera and I was like oh it's got 60 seconds like that's really weird but I actually after hearing her say that she's totally right and I really appreciate the fact that yes it might have oxidized or it might have changed color within that 60 seconds but it did not continue to change as the day went on and I just really really appreciate that little detail obviously it did crease like that's not something that was 100% avoidable if it were me all I would do quite honestly is maybe pack a little bit more powder in there see if I 
I could set that a little more aggressively, similar to what I did actually with the pure one, and it did make a big difference. These are all just little things that I do in preparation for the product updates, and if you don't know what that is, again, if you are new here, in two to three weeks, I always come back on camera, and I give you updates, updates on everything that I have tried, or almost everything. Of course, there are some things I leave out, because who cares, but I like to come back on here and tell you guys about foundations, how did they work out, what did I like, what it, didn't I like, did I find a solution to this problem, did I mix it with something, and that's just something that I like to do, so that way we can both kind of continue to learn and work with products, and it's something, again, that I do every two to three weeks. It's a really, really valuable tool, I feel like. So if you liked me, you liked my style, you were into this product, and you want to see how those little things work out, definitely make sure that you subscribe and stick around, because it's going to be here, and I'm really excited just to keep working with it and testing it out. I just feel like, guys, I've had such good luck with foundations lately. It's crazy. I tested out the new Urban Decay one, their Stay Naked. I can link that. I did a full review on the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer and the Color Correctors and all of that, which I will link. I reviewed the Dose of Colors. This is the Meet Your Hue Foundation. I will link that up there. Like, I've just had so many bangers lately, and I'm so freaking excited for it. So, if you're curious, again, if you haven't seen any of those, feel free to check them out. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me, for being here, and just for watching me have all the joy in my heart and soul for testing out these new foundations. I so enjoy it, and I love that you guys do too. If you haven't done so yet, and you would love to, you can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. I'm a lot more active on my stories there than pretty much anywhere else on social, so check me out there. They're both listed down below. You can also subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Hello, hi, if and you'd like to stick around, because I do upload five videos a week. That's right. If you were thinking about leaving without subscribing, just think about that. Five videos. One, two, three, four, five. We talk about all the newest makeup. We review it. We wear test it. We do all the things, so you'll definitely want to stick around and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications, because y'all, those videos go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. 6 and 7 a.m. Let that sink in. Bright and early my time here in northern Michigan. So for you and the rest of the world, girl, it is so, so early. It'll give you something to do. You get up, you drink your coffee, you watch me. You get up, you eat, you watch me. There's a lot of things to do, and you can do it all while you're watching me, hanging out, learning about new makeup. But you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. Go play. Oh, shit. I guess I didn't need that. It's fine. Let me tell you about the birds and the bees and the sycamore trees. Mm, 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 mm. And I did notice that the, the that, 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 that. Ooh, from head on, I feel like my face is like perfectly bronze. You ever look at yourself and you're just like, damn, like what queen did my face today? Because I really feel like something is working right now. Something is working. If I had my glasses on, I'd be able to see the brushes over there. <laughs> I'm sitting here and I'm like, um, what brushes do I have? Well, I don't know, Paige. Put your glasses on. Where are your glasses at? Can't find your glasses without your glasses. That's, that's the real conundrum of life.